Hello expert designers, hope you all enjoying your designing journey. Welcome to one more modeling tutorial of this infinity table. So the links are at the description box, go check it out. And from the following tutorial you will learn 3D sketch. You had a glimpse of weld mates and you will be able to apply material to the part. Okay, so if you are a beginner there are more basic tips coming up for you so it will be an add-on for you so stick to the tutorial or you can use pdf okay so uh, go to the solidworks press ctrl n select part and click ok so the very first thing set your part document unit to the mmgs okay select top plane select sketch select center rectangle from the origin draw a rectangle apply dimension of 900 mm to both this side select line make the point coincident with the diagonal Okay, now select trim entities, select power trim and just move your cursor like this and trim the entities. Click OK. Now apply dimension to this line of 100 mm. Okay, now select this point and this end point of diagonal. Add vertical dimension, select these two points and add horizontal dimension so we had our fully defined geometry now exit the sketch okay select top plane and with uh, drag your mouse with uh, left button press and with control key okay so you can create a plane like this okay so this is a shortcut trick Select the dimension of 1000 mm and click OK. So now hide this plane, select the plane and select sketch. OK, add a normal view. Again, draw a same rectangle of the size of sketch 1. Do the same thing, draw two lines one vertical, one horizontal trim it add some relation apply dimension so now our both geometry ready so now we are creating a 3d sketch here you will find 3d sketch select line and here it show x y plane so from this origin you can see this is x y okay so we can create line here select this point create one line like this one horizontal line and a one downward line okay yeah so if we want to change the plane uh, to draw a line in this side uh, press tab key okay draw one like like this and make it coincident to the upper geometry again select line make a vertical line like this now again to draw in this plane press tab key okay again for vertical line press tab press again tab key and make the line coincident to the lower geometry now 
select all the vertical lines make it along y now we are adding dimension to this line of 850 mm okay do the same thing for this line okay so now select this line and this line add an equal relation select these two lines and add equal relation so we have our fully defined geometry now select exit sketch now we are going to add our structural member go to velmet tab if you have not uh, just right click here and select velmet okay now select structural member select the standard iso select uh, section type square tube and select 80 80 by 5 mm thickness so this is the well made uh, tips that you can select all the continuous geometry in the well made okay but uh, you cannot uh, also you can select parallel geometry like this one like this line and this line okay in single group okay in single group but you cannot select this line and this line to select this you have to add this new group okay so this was for the weldments and now we are adding our structural member now select the continuous geometry like this just avoid corners we don't want it okay our infinity table is ready select this eye icon for the hide all the sketch and now we are applying the material of uh, uh, let's say plain carbon steel so okay and uh, here you will see that uh, there are no uh, radius lines here and uh, my <laughs> part will look a uh, little different for you so go to view select display and uh, select this tangent edges remove and if i select this tangent edges visible it will show up the lines this is called tangent lines okay so i generally prefer to hide it because they are unnecessary okay this is for the tutorial and don't forget keep designing thank you